My name is Nick Peacock. I sit on the Wellbeing at the Bar working group on behalf of the Professional Negligence Bar Association. Um, I practice in clinical negligence, professional discipline and inquests. I decided after quite a lot of consideration to tell my story on a public forum because uh, in the end people have to stick their head above the parapet on this. There are lots of us who've been through this and I want to tell people that it's okay and you can get out the other end and you'll be fine. My own well-being issues came about really as a result of my personal life. So I, I was called to the bar in 1992, married shortly after 1996. We have two children. Um, by about 2010, my marriage was crumbling. I found it when I was sitting in chambers, not in conference, not in court, uh, really finding it very difficult to concentrate. Um, my sleep was lousy. And so in some distress, I went to see my GP for some advice. Uh, and after talking it through, she prescribed me antidepressant medication. And I think much more importantly for me, and, and this will be lifelong from time to time, recommended counselling. For me, counselling has been a 100% positive impact on me and on my practice. I think it has made me better, not just at talking about myself, but at listening to people talking about themselves. But beyond counselling, I eventually plucked up the courage to talk to some trusted colleagues, two or three in chambers and my senior clerk. My colleagues were understanding and supportive and told me I could come and talk to them whenever I needed. And my clerk said, I will have the time and space to get through this. Now, the things that I do to keep well are make sure that I do discuss things with colleagues at work if things are stressful. But outside work, um, I think more importantly than anything that happens to me in work, is fostering good relationships out of work and protecting time for myself. And I realised from going through this process and from some of the work on the Wellbeing Committee uh, that the importance of relationships out of work can't be understated. The, the most important piece of advice I would give others is when you need help, ask for it, because there's any number of people who can help you if your well-being takes a dip from clerks, colleagues, friends, family, all the way through to, if you need it, counselling and doctors. The last thing that uh, I did to, to keep well as far as I can is to protect my working hours and my non-working hours. So I now get to Chambers at about 8.30 in the morning and I absolutely leave religiously at six. We all need to realise that barristers do work um, under stressful circumstances and sometimes you need to work late and sometimes you need to work early in the morning and sometimes you need to work at weekends. And I do all of those when I need to, but the difference is that these days they are very, very much the exception and not the rule. The one thing which the profession can't ignore is that well-being issues and dips in welfare are so prevalent, according to the Bar Council's research, that the issue can't be ignored. And what I would encourage everyone to do is look at the website and the work of the Wellbeing at the Bar Group.